There's no love like a mother's love. Right. They say that the man is the head of the household, but the mother is the backbone of the household. Yeah. She's the one that keeps everything in order. She's the one who really, to me, raises you up and shows you what to do, what not to do. We know that the masculine man is the discipline here. But when you got discipline from a mother, it's a whole different type of discipline. And you not only get discipline, you get chastised. She lets you know, I'm not doing this because I'm angry at your match. I'm doing this because I love. And she's looking out for it. So a mother's love is so different to me than a father's love. A mother's love is most important. Because it's a mother's love that carries us through the day. It's a mother's love that gets us through the, the tough times. It's the mother's love that she shows that no matter what's going on, your mother's love and your mother's always going to be here for you. That's right. And for that, I said we give all the mothers a hand praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
did with her, I did from growing up, and so did my sister. And I'm going to tell you right now, she was just as dedicated and focused to the Lord as you saw her on the Sunday morning. So that's been a blessing. And then to my father who's here today, um, I can tell you that it's been a trial in and out with the, with the, with the uh, strokes that he's had. And, you know, going from completely independent and healthy, probably January, to seeing this has been a change. But I can tell you the biggest blessing to me is to see how he has not changed in his spirit. He has not changed in our way in his faith. My faith is wavering. I'm like, God, what are you doing? Why are you allowing this? But he, he don't have that kind of attitude about it. He's just going with it. When he's in the hospital, the nurses always say, your dad is the, he, he's my favorite patient. He's so easy to try to go along. He goes along, he'll argue. So um, I just want to, I know it's Mother's Day, but I want to also acknowledge my father because I know he's my role model, he's my hero. And even in this situation, even more so, to see him the same man as he has been when he was completely independent, to see him now with limited mobility and things of that nature, he hasn't changed. So that's my testimony as well. So I just want to pray that you uh, continue your strength in the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. 
Not to say that we don't have that same, that we don't have a special relationship with our father, but the mother is a different type of bond. It's a different type of relationship. When we are in our mother's womb, we begin that bond. Yes. We begin bonding with the mother. Mm -hmm. That's why the mother is the nurturer. Mm -hmm. But just as the mother is the nurturer, who was the nurturer of our mother? It's God who was the nurturer of our mother, who then passed it down to her, who passed it down to us when we were in her womb until we came out. And she continued to nurture us. Yeah. So that's why I say every day is Mother's Day. Yeah. Because a mother's nurture and a mother's love <coughs> never stops. Yeah. Just like God never stopped loving us, in spite of all that we do, yeah. our mother's love never stops on us, in spite of what we do. Yeah. It's almost as if God said, you know what? I'm not going to stop loving you, but the woman who carried you, who buried you, who gave you life because of me, yes. she's not going to stop loving you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So every day, as I said, is Mother's Day. It's a mother's honor. Yeah. It's an honor to be able to say that my mother is here. Amen. It's an honor to say that my mother loves me. Amen. It's an honor to say that my mama has my back. Amen. It's an honor to say that in spite of what I do, my mother is still there for me. That's why I say it's a mother's honor. Yes. One of the aspects, a distinct respect to their person, an inward esteem of them outwardly expressed upon all occasions in our conduct towards them. When we conduct ourselves in front of our mothers, we show them the same respect that we show God. We respect God, we lift God up, we, we put him on the highest esteem pedestal where he belongs. But down in the flesh world, we do the same thing with our mother. My mother is my queen. That's my queen mother. I hold my mother up here to a high esteem because I learn from my mother. I've grown from my mother. Along with the nurturing that she gave me, she steered me on the right path. Even when I did wrong, it wasn't chastising me to get on me, but it was chastising me because she loved me, she wanted me to do right. Yeah. And when she did that, yeah, I may not have understand it as a little you, but then all of a sudden, as I got older, I understood what my mother was doing. Yeah. It wasn't that she was mad at me and that she was showing all this anger. She may have been disappointed because she knows she raised me better than what I was doing. So when I got that chastisement, it was, no, I love you, that's why I'm doing this, so you can get back on the path that you were supposed to be on, that I raised you to be on. All right. But where did she get that from? She got it because God went through her to get to me. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So it all goes back to God filtering yes, my mother into me to where I am today. Hallelujah. So I can't help but say, it's a mother's honor. Yes. Yeah. Leviticus 19.3 says, Each of you must respect your mother and father. Must respect. And how do we begin to respect? We know that we respect God because of who God is. God is of the most high. He makes no mistakes. He knows all. Yes. He's seen all. He's yes. done all. Yes. He knows what we think before we think. Now here's the As we were growing up, how many times have our mother told us, boy, girl, I know what you're thinking before you even come up here. I know what you're going to do before you even do it. I've been there and done that. So I see it coming 100 miles away. So just like God knows all, Mama knows all too. Mama knows when you're doing wrong. Mama knows when you're not right. Mm -hmm. My mama can tell me today when so she can see me in person and tell me what's wrong. <laughs> Nothing. Yes, it is. <laughs> and what's the first thing she say? I know my son. Yes, yes. A mother knows. Yes. Just like God knows, a mother knows her child. A mother knows when you're not right. You think you got it all together 
you smoke screen uh, but mama know what's going on you don't seem right I'm right I, I mentioned I got my hair cut I'm straight I'm, I'm going to work but mama know mama said you're not yourself I feel it if I, I'm 51 years old but my mama will if she knows I'm not at home or if I'm supposed to be there and I haven't gotten here yet, my mother sleeps loud. Yeah. The first time she hears, she's up, wondering if I'm okay. But it's not until I walk in the house or I make the call that I'm home, then all the signs can go off all they want. She will not wake up because she knows that her son is there. That's the mother's love for her child. That's the nurture part of the mother.
You know, I've said many times, we don't have a heaven and hell to put anybody in. Mama done been there, done that. She done seen all, she done done all. She done been where you been. And for Mama to tell you something, she already knows. So why not obey what she's seen? She's steering you away from the troubles and the trials and tribulations. Yeah. But we want to do it on our own. I'm a pro. I'm over 21. I know what I'm doing. But when I get in trouble, who do I come running back to? I come back to my mom. Can you hear me? Mama, I'm struggling this and that. No matter where mama is, it is. No matter if she's in the state, out of state. She can be out of the country. Mama is like, I got you. Don't worry about it. In the morning, you go take care of X, Y, and Z. And it'll be all right. I got your back. My mama is my rock. My mama is my solid foundation. If it had not been for my mother, being on me the way she was, being behind me when I was doing wrong, having my back, giving me positive out, out giving me something positive to look to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna say it, my mama went to school, my mama, after I was out of school, my mama continued school, went to USC, graduated, went to George Washington Law University, graduated, passed the bar in Maryland. My mama is my role model. My mama is my role So she is my hero. She is my role model. She is the woman that I obey and listen to. Amen. It's a mother's honor. And I'm proud to be able to honor my mother on this day. As I honor my mother every day. Yes. yes. Uh, obey your parents. Come when they call you. Go where they send you. Yes. Do what they bid you. Refrain from what they forbid you. Okay. This comes from a principle of love. <coughs> Y'all heard me before, previous message, a while ago, and I mentioned, whether it's my grandmother or my mother, called me <coughs> to come in the house. I don't care if I was down at the other end of the block, and if it was a long block. I can hear my mom and my grandmother hollering, Paul, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> they call me and I come and run. Because they are in charge. They know what's going on after the street lights went out. It's time for me to come in the house. When they call, I come. When they said, you got to do X, Y, and Z, I go do it. <coughs> Mama told me Saturday morning as a kid, you want to be in the house with your bowl of cereal, laying on the floor, watching cartoons. That's what we did as a kid. But my mom was like, it's 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. You need to go downstairs and crush these kids. I don't want to crush no kids in the morning. <laughs> but mama sent me down. I go where she said to go. <coughs> I did what she wanted me to do. Just like I do what God wants me to do. God gave me this gift. It's not mine, but God gave it to me. And the gift he gave me was, I want you to talk to my people. All right. I want you to talk to my children. Just like God told me what to do, and I did. This is what he wanted me to do. This is what he bid for me to do. So this is what I do. Amen. Growing up, my mama bid me to do something. That's what I did. Paul, go clean your room. I go clean my room. Paul, take out the train. I go take out the train. This is what she did for me to do. I go and do. Mm -hmm. No different than what God bids us to do every day. God bids us to stay in His Word. God bids us to pray more, stay in our closet. God bids us to stay on straight and narrow. God bids us not to do wrong. He gives us something that we should do, and we do do it as much as we can. The only reason why I say as much as we can because we do fall short. We do get caught up in ourselves and feeling ourselves and thinking we got this all figured out. Yeah. But it's because of who he is that we do what he bid us to do. Yeah. And because of who mama is, we do what she bid us to do. Let the fire